Hello everyone I'm Em, welcome back to Tech Block. Today we have a brand new gaming chair here from GT Omega Racing. They hooked us up with a brand new chair. This is the uh, GT Omega Sport in black and white. Very very similar to the chair we had in the previous setup. But this one's a little bit better I think. So we're going to be unboxing it, setting it up, building it and putting it in the new setup. As uh, you want to see my chair now? Boy, what is this? This is from my, uh, my dining room table. I had no other chair and I'm not going to use a freaking beanbag, although I probably could. <laughs> but uh, I kind of brought over my dining room chair to use as like the chair for the office at the moment. I mean, it, it, it's a nice chair, don't get me wrong, but I think that GT Omega chair is going to be a lot better. So uh, say goodbye to this dining room table chair. You're going back to the dining room. <laughs> this is the current setup, by the way. It's like pretty darn sick. We have the Acer Predator Triton 500 laptop. Press the card on the screen now if you want to go watch my full video about that guy. We have the Razer Black Widow Elite keyboard right here. Very, very nice, featuring the Razer green switches, Razer Mamba Hyperflux, better the Razer Firefly Hyperflux mouse and mouse mouse combo. Pretty cool. Uh, we have a wireless charger for my phone here, and it's kind of like a cool one. It has LEDs beneath it. Put your phone on there, it kind of glows green. It's pretty sick, uh, so that's the thing. And uh, apart from that, there's really nothing else. This is a very simple setup. We have nothing really going on. Yeah, at the moment, I'm pretty much just using this to like edit all the videos and stuff, including, of course, the video that you're watching now will be edited right here. But at least now I'll be sitting on like a pretty darn sick GT Omega like racing chair. As I've been using the GT Omega Elite chair in black and white in my previous setup for like probably nearly a year now. And it's held up really good. It's like a decent chair. Like I like it. This one though should be a little bit better. I think it's a bit pricier than the Elite version. It's the sport one. Hopefully it's going to be real nice. Oh, and by the way, if you want to go buy anything on GT Omega's website, use code TECHBLOCK5 to save yourself 5% off your order. You're welcome. So if you want to go pick up a sick chair for your gaming setup as well, use the code, dude, get a discount, save some money. This box here is very heavy. Oh my God. I, I can't even imagine how much this weighs. And then there's this box, much lighter, much, much lighter. Okay. Oh, this room is gonna be such a mess by the end of this. Alrighty, we got a GT Omega cushion as well, man. This is the lumbar support, I believe. Ooh, man, very nice, super soft. We got that. We got the headrest here. There we go, dude. Nice elastic strap here. A little clip as well. Oh man, this is genuinely like so freaking soft. This, this is good. I like it. I like it. We got loads and loads of packaging. Okay, we got the legs there. Oh man. Oh, that's the other armrest. Boom. This is like all freaking metal, man. Quite heavy. Take this part out now. Oh, yeah, we can. Yep, let's lift this one out. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Instructions, put those there, so I will probably need them. Yeah, so we have the uh, gas lift piston right here. Plastic side covers, cool. Oh, this is the bottom piece, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just put that thing there for now. Oh, we got the, the cover, we got this part for the gas piston. Let's cover it up, we got uh, two Allen keys, two screws. And that's it for this box, there, that's everything. What do we have in here? Uh huh. We have this entire piece, <laughs> the other half of the chair. All right, we'll deal with all that later. All right, that's our chair there. Do, do, do. You know, I could maybe kind of do this on the beanbag. I don't know. <laughs> well, that was easy. Another one, and we're done. Next up, we have the piston with the piston cover. Pretty sure that will go onto here. That will slot into there. Then these will kind of drop. Should look a little something like this. Ooh, yeah, the piston will go into there. Before we put that on though, let's attach this onto the bottom of that chair. We got our two screws and two Allen keys. This beanbag is actually proving to be very useful. Okay, so we'll be, we'll be putting it on like this. Okay, cool. All you gotta do is just unscrew these screws right here. Take the bottom two out as well. Okay, now there are two screws on each side. So we're gonna have to take these out and then screw them back in, put them through these holes here. It's 
one screw in. Looking good, man. Looking good. The chair is built. Oh my God. And it's incredibly heavy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yup. All right, now all we gotta do is put it into the hole there. Oh, oh, oh my Lord, I'm gonna die. Oh, are we in? Oh my God. We good? Is this good? Recline this chair back a bit. Oh man. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Every single time I've built a chair myself, when I go to sit down in it, I just expect the whole thing to just fall apart and me to just fall on the floor. It hasn't happened yet. And I think once again, we've successfully built. <laughs> oh man, that nearly happened. Three builds. Three builds. Three builds. As I say, we've successfully built a chair again. I fall off of the chair. <laughs> you know what? I actually kind of... Ooh! Whoa! Okay. Oh, this is... It's interesting that it kind of reclines this far forward. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever want to sit in a chair like this, but you know, I feel like this is definitely an improvement over the Elite version. Like, I've been sitting in that chair for, you know, like over half a year now. And this one, surprisingly enough, I, like, I really didn't think there'd be much of a difference. But this is the more expensive chair and to be honest, I can see why it's kind of more expensive. And I've not even added the lumbar support or the cushion yet. No. <laughs> there we go. And now we got a nice headrest there, a nice head cushion. Oh, everything's just like so smooth and new. Now this chair does have some really cool like armrests. I'm pretty sure these are called like four dimensional armrests so they can go down. They can go forward and back, just like that. Then they can also go side to side, as you can see. So they're pretty cool armrests, man. There's a lot of customizability and stuff, so I do approve of them. They're real nice. They're not like super rock hard or anything. Like there is a bit of like cushioning to them, which is very nice as well. I do appreciate that. Like the entire chair here is like super cushiony. I feel like they've actually added a, quite a bit more padding on the side here. It just, it just feels really nice to actually like sit on. And one thing I noticed as well is that these side pieces here, they kind of wrap around you a bit more in the sport version, I feel like. This chair just feels good. Let's add the lumbar support as well, shall we? All right, chair is built. The lumbar support is on. Damn, dude, damn. This is good. I'm a fan, ooh. Okay, the one thing I do still need to sort out though, is to get a floor pad for the chair. So once I get that thing ordered, we should pretty much be all done with, you know, the whole chair situation. I forgot to attach these pieces. Okay. Wow, this entire piece actually screws in. Damn, dude. Okay. Good job, Em. <laughs> Alright, now the chair is built. Now it's done. <laughs> Alrighty, so walking into the office now. We got the giant beanbag, we got the desk, and now we have a sick chair. What do you think? I think it kind of looks pretty cool in the office. This entire room is still very much a work in progress. You know, we're still improving stuff. We're still adding things to this room pretty much on like a weekly basis here. We've added the beanbag. Now we've got a chair. We got a desk like a few weeks ago, I think. We have a laptop now, dude, a mouse, a keyboard. Like everything is pretty much slowly taking shape. Ooh, and a few things you got to test out, of course, is like the controls here, because there are like, what does this do? Okay, so that goes up. So this goes up and down. Awesome. But can you... Oh, dude. No. <laughs> I want to do the whole Pewdiepie, pie, but can you do this? But dude, I swear down, I'm going to flip on this whole chair. No. I don't like this. Oh, is that as far as it can go? Dude, this is mental. You can sleep on this thing. Oh my God. Okay, if I fall... Ah! Nah, mate. But can you do this? <laughs> Let's not lay like that. 
but you could probably use this as a bed if you wanted to. Apart from that though, once again, thank you very much GT Omega Racing for sending over the GT Omega Sport Chair in black and white. Link in description to the chair, link in description to GT Omega's website, of course. And if you use code TECHBLOCK5, you'll save yourself 5% off anything on GT Omega's website. So if you want to go pick up a chair, use code TECHBLOCK5, save yourself some money, get yourself a cool chair. This one in particular, I'd highly recommend the sport version. The one I have back in my other setup is called the Elite, a very good chair, but this one is slightly more expensive and let me tell you, I'm pretty sure it's kind of worth the extra like 50 pound or so that you pay for this one. This is a good chair, I like it. I like the design and stuff, it's cool, all leather. It's sick, man. But thanks for watching though, hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.